Today I'm going to change out this plug. The reason I don't like it is it only goes in one way. It's hard to figure out which way it goes. And then once you put it in, you have to twist it and you have to hold it there while you tighten this collar to make sure that you have good connections. It's difficult to remember to do that. And then when you shut this to go to C, you don't want this to get crossed, so I have to remember to, to seal it back up. <coughs> so, you're upgrading this smart plug connector. It's got a big square connection that plugs right in. Instead, that just fits in one way and it clips, and this is spring loaded to drop down on it. The new connection looks like that. Instead of figure out which way it goes, put it in and then twist it and hold it through the collar, you just push it straight in, spring things on the side, click, pull it back out and the top closes and that way it's protected from seawater when we're underway. This What's that called? Smart plug. So that's what it'll be, that's the side on the boat. I hope it's smart because I'm not all that smart. Here. <laughs> and then this should just plug right in that way. Oh, it just clicks in? Yep. this thing. Cool. Does not work with AC power at all. Simple as three wires. You got your ground, which is most important safety mechanism. Your black is your hot, that's where the power comes in on. And white's your neutral, which is the return. And green's obviously the backup to the to the neutral. say there's a lot of boat fires that happen over this and just when you push that twist lock in if you don't turn it all the way and then you have the collar lock it and hold it then this will warm up because there's not enough uh it's pork it ends up being a pork connection that one uh no just the short old shore power oh the shore power connection, connection. Yeah, okay in general. that makes sense
The packaging says, contrary to popular belief, the number one cause of short power failure is not electrical shorting, but it's overheating due to poor electrical conductivity. Smart plug protects against overheating. The other thing is, the other side of the plug is still an L630 twist lock, so it's still subject to the same issues of twisting and stuff, at least it solves one side of the cable. So what's the purpose of the smart plug in case other people don't understand what a smart plug is other than me? Um, it's supposed to reduce heat 
uh, heat's what causes fires, causes electrical degradation. Um, nothing good comes from heat, generally. And for us, I did it because it's just easier to plug in and plug out because trying to fiddle under here and twist it and then remember to get the outer collar on. Oh, here I'll show you. It's, let's see how this would go. This is, the normal, in the butt. this is the normal connection, <laughs> right? So there's three plugs, well, they're keyed, it only goes one way. So you're, you're under here in the dark going like this, which way does it fit? And you twist it and you, oh, it went in, but then you have to twist it. If you leave it like this, it doesn't have a good connection because you can still, you have to twist it while it's, tw while it's twisted, hold it this way, take the collar with the other fingers to tighten it, right? And you need it to be, and it only moves like a quarter of an inch, but it's gotta be locked in place with the collar on tight that's how you're supposed to do your shore power connections. That's really hard to do. And then when you untwist it, undo the collar, disconnect it here. Then you got to take this guy, put him on here. And he always does this. And now he won't twist because he's cross threaded. And you're like, oh, how's this work? And you have to sit there and fiddle with it. This is why I went to the smart plug. There's these reasons right here. <clears throat> All right, and then you'd have to remember to do this every time which we forgot most of the time <laughs> most of the Some time of but sometimes <laughs> it's just a pain mm -hmm. so hopefully this summer we'll be out uh maybe we'll get lucky in the open canada not so sure about that but would sure be nice to be out cruising again so thank you for joining us on another episode of down at the dock and we appreciate you watching our videos and stay tuned for more channel surfing thank you for tuning in have a great day.